since the beginning of my journey. I lost 160 pounds. I mean, hello, that's another person. I really wanna keep it going. My next goal is to reach under 300 pounds. This is just the tip of the iceberg for me. So glad y'all came. We're glad you're doing the journey, girl. Amen. Woo! Best journey ever. Yeah. She walks without her oxygen. She gets around, she looks beautiful, the smile on her face, and now I feel like she's got a newfound confidence. I see such a dramatic change. Oh my God, I haven't seen so y'all in forever. I know. It's so good to see you, and you look oh. marvelous. Oh, oh gosh. Yes. Look at you. I'm so God, glad you so proud of you. Oh, you look so good. I'm so proud. In the past year, I've seen Megan change. I've seen her become more happy, joyous. She's becoming very productive and taking care of herself and other people. She's just been doing great. Vanessa, how is your journey going? <laughs> doing good. I've lost, you know, like 20 pounds. I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah. I had to completely change my life. And a couple of weeks ago, I saw Dr. Proctor for a weigh-in. 427. <laughs> You're down 20 pounds. Congratulations. I'm so excited. I want to see you continue with this momentum. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this. I know, me neither. Um, the goal is the goal, right? Yes, yes. But you're almost halfway there, right? I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, seeing Megan today, I have major regrets that I didn't decide to jump on the bandwagon sooner. But seeing her today just pushes me that much harder. Y'all, I seen a red bird a minute ago and made me think of my daddy. Oh, oh, I, saw that. I started to cry. I was like, well, you know he's, he's here. He, I know. My dad's urns with me today, and his nickname was Red. And after my dad's passing, my mama gave me like this little fuzzy cardinal, that bird. And every time I seen it, it made me think of him because of bir the bird's red. This oh, man, that you're doing the right thing. Because this is what he wanted me to do. And, yeah. and just, I was just. Oh, my baby. I love you so much. It was his sin, and I was like, he, he would be so happy. He is happy. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're I good, honey. I feel truly loved today, but I'm also really missing my dad. I wouldn't be here today if he hadn't wanted me to have this surgery. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. I'll be with her in a minute. And I wish more than anything he was here to celebrate with me. Well, Dad, I did it. I know that you wanted me. I know that you wanted me to get well, and you wanted it all my whole life. And I made a promise to you. I made a promise that I would get that surgery and I would get better, and I did it. I know that you'd be happy, and I promise you from here on out that I'm going to take care of myself and I'm going to watch over Mom. And I'm going to continue to make you proud of me. We did it, Dad. And I'm going all the way. You will just wait and see. Megan, I'm just so proud of you, of how far you've come, and how good you're taking care of yourself, and everything that you've had to go through this year. I know losing your dad was tough on you, but I wanted to be here for you. And I would like to continue to be here for you. And that way I can always have the sunshine of my life oh my God. always by my side. Oh, oh baby. Ah, what do you say? Oh. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, you got to fall. Oh, oh, my yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm engaged. Oh my gosh, I'm engaged. Oh He's gonna make me an honest woman. <laughs> she said yes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with someone I love, and I can't wait. You know you're just so perfect for me. See, you might be. I love you. I love you too, babe. Dad would be so proud. I believe now that I've had this surgery and I've lost this weight, it's only beginning for me. 
I have so many goals and I'm 42 years young. I got this. I'm gonna start out and who knows what the world's gonna bring at me.